To create a 2D character animation sometimes can be very tricky, but in this video I will show you a very simple way to create an idle, walk, run and add animation, so let's get started. To start with our game, I created a new 2D project and on the window project here I already created these folders to keep it more organized. I also imported all the sprites we are going to need for this video, if you want to download it, I'll leave the link on the description below and you can check it out. So before we create our first animation, I changed the side of our player, changing the pixels per unit here, from 100 to 300. I think the character looks better that way. And to do that is very simple. Just select all the sprites you need, you want to change the pixels per unit, and here you have the few pixels per unit, just change the value and click apply, and then unit it to do everything for you. Now let's create our first animation. Let's start with the idle animation. So I drag this idle one here into the scene and I'll give it a name Santa. This is going to be our player. To create animations in Unity, I need an animation window. So let's go here on window, animation, animation. And now we have this window here. With our play select on the hierarchy, let's click on create and Unit will ask us a folder to save it. I already created that folder, so let's give it a name idle. Now we have this timeline here and let's get all the idle sprites and drag into the timeline. Select idle 1 till 16 and drag it. Done. Now our first animation is created. Very simple, right? So if we press play here, we can see our center is animated, but it's quite fast. I don't like it. So I want to slow down a bit. For that we have the samples here, which is 60 now. Let's change it to 20 and there you have it. Our animation looks a lot better now. So let's create another one. I will click here on idle and we have this option to create new clip. Let's give it a name of jump and now it's the same process. I drop all the jump sprites into the timeline. And now if I click play you can see our animation is created. But again it's a bit fast. <laughs> it looks like uh, he had a lot of Red Bull. So for this one I will change the samples to 23. It looks a lot better now. So um, now I'm going to create two more animations, dead and run, which is basically the same process. So I'm just going to speed up a little bit. Now we have all the animations for our player. And in the next video we will create the movement. But first we need to work on the animations first. I mean the transitions of the animations. So let's open the animation controller which help us to control when and which animation will play. Go to window, animation, animator. And here we have this window. Select our center and now we can see here all the animations we created. As you can see the idle animation is orange with an arrow. That means is the first animation that's going to be played when we start our game. This arrow here means the transition. I'm going to create more transitions between those animations. Right click on idle and make transition. Select run and see our first transition is created. Now let's do it to all of them. With all transitions created, we have to configure how it's going to be those transitions, when it will happen. For that we will create two variables that's going to help us to do that. Let's go to parameters here, click on this plus icon and the first one is going to be a float called movement and the second one is a bow called is jumping. With that step done, click on our transition arrow idle to run and we have this few conditions here. We click on the plus icon and see our variable movement is already there. So we want to change from idle to run when our movement is greater than 0.1 and on settings here on top we want to uncheck has exit time and fix the durations. Now to make the transitions between run to idle it's basically the same but instead of variable movement greater than 0.1 it will be less than 0.1. Also don't forget to uncheck has exit time and fix the duration. For the transition idle to jump on the conditions here we want our variable is jumping and not the movement. The condition it will be if this is true. Also uncheck those on top here and for the jump to idle it is basically the same thing but instead of true is jumping needs to be false and movement less than 0.1 the last transition here is run to jump it's basically the same thing as idle to jump you want is jumping to be true and for jump to run 
we want is jumping equals false and movement greater than 0 0.1. All right, now we have all the transitions created. So let's go to the play mode and test see if everything is working perfect. So here I have the variable movement and if I change to 0 0.2, you can see now the transition happens. Now we're in a run animation. If I change it back to zero, see our character in an idle animation. So let's change it to two and let's make it is jumping to true. You see the transition. Now our character is jumping and if it's false, our character is running and let's go to move into zero, our character in idle and let's set jump into true, our character is jumping. So that means all transition is working perfect. So congratulations to complete all the steps. All right, this is it for this video. On the next one, we will create the movement for our player. So if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you have any question, suggestion or have any issue with the project, Leave in a comment below, I always answer everybody. So enjoy your game and see you in the next one.